uh, damage had been using the triad, uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, this they were seen and in a video, Ghost Sports put out a video before the tournament, and they were all using these new hoppers, uh, and they were all using them at the tournament as well, and uh, to me, it just looks like a Halo, so uh, they'd also been using the Halo 2, like uh, of that bad boy right there, uh, that huge ass hopper, uh, and now it looks like they're really just using like the newer version of that thing. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll call it the Halo 3 or something like that. Uh, but it essentially, uh, from what I've been told, uh, is really just a Halo. Uh, it's just a Halo uh, that has the shell split off different. Uh, so essentially, it's the same from here down. But just they've changed that top portion. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit different. You know, there's no screws and stuff now because uh, you apparently do not need screws uh, to remove the internals from that thing. Uh, so it's really just going to be a newer high-end version. Uh, maybe not high-end. I bet this thing's about 110 ish dollars, somewhere in there. Uh, but it's really just a new updated version of the Halo. Uh, one of the things that I kind of really like uh, is it is taking actual integrated speed feeds now. So before, uh, on these halos, it's just this big ass ring around the top and you had to like clamp a speed feed on it and it was all like wacky looking. Uh, but now, like everything, uh, it should have an integrated uh, speed feed or does have an integrated speed feed. You can also see that big button on the back to take those shells off. Uh, it really kind of reminds me of a rotor, that big button. But it's weird, right? I mean, it's like they just released, it seems like JT uh, just released uh, the Triad. Uh, JT's for, if you guys don't know, JT is actually owned by uh, Core. Uh, Core owns a handful of companies, JT and Empire uh, being two of them. So it's weird to see them use uh, the JT Hopper. Uh, not really weird. I mean, it's their sponsor kind of in a way. Uh, but it's odd to see them use it for so long. And then it still be kind of rare and not really easy to get. Uh, and then they release another unreleased hopper. So at this point, they kind of have two hoppers uh, that are not really out, but sort of out. Uh, this thing's totally not out, though. We don't know really any official information. It's just odd. You know, we saw, I think, AC Diesel. I think I saw one player on AC Diesel using it. Uh, but there were also guys on AC Diesel using the Prophecy Z2. So, like, Empire has guys on teams using all the hoppers they have guys using the z2 they have guys using halo 2s this mysterious new halo 3 you got guys with the triad are those all of them triad halo 2 z2 halo 3 and then what's crazy about damage is they got <laughs> they got dudes using prophecies and not prophecies uh spires and controls and all kinds of stuff i don't know <laughs> it's just a mess I just kind of find it funny. Uh, I like it. I think it looks really good. It looks like it's, you know, a much more compact modern loader. I mean, one of the problems, too, with the Halo uh, is this neck is so long, so it doesn't even bottom out in hoppers. You have to, like, cut part of the neck off uh, to get it to seat all the way in the... I should say it doesn't fit all the way in a feed neck. So this is weird. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully they can get that triad shipping... Uh, more quickly, we'll say. Uh, and then hopefully we can see a new version of that Halo, because it's, you know, I'd like to see it.